Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the interview questions. Okay. Uh, before starting, I would like to put some disclaimer over here. Like these are the questions usually I have asked or asked to me. Uh, and uh, usually when I ask the questions, there are possible answer which I like to hear. So that is uh, what I have highlighted over here. This answer may be not appropriate for different questions or maybe for the different interviewer. Okay. Uh, this is based off my knowledge. Purely uh, high level discriminator is that. Second is uh, the intention is to just to highlight uh, what are the areas uh, candidates can look for and why I ask these questions. Okay. So that I will explain during when asking the question. And the request will be either read the manual developer guide from AYOD or read the VXML uh, what is a document available in the W3ORG. Okay. So as discussed, right, the first question is, or the question which I'm asking, right? So question is, I want to store the information like user input in the IVA journey or the transcription or anything which is, let's say for the reporting purpose, right? Into the any database system using an API. And, uh, I want to capture those information after the call end, how we can achieve that in AYOD. What is the intention of this question? Uh, the simple intention from my side is to understand, uh, does the candidate have the knowledge of the different events which are available uh, into the AYOD or in the VXML, okay? And the possible solution is the, or the answer, uh, or the possible answer can be is, the key point is over here is the call end. So what uh, interviewer is asking is how to capture the information when the, there is a call end, right? So if we go to the, our W3C, uh, W3 for VXML, VXML 2.0, 2.1 is also there, but uh, we will refer to this one because this is the primary guide and 2.1 is uh, on top of this one. So only the incremental is mentioned in the 2.1 block. So there are events which are available in the VXML or in the IOD side, which are the default which available from the voice XML side. What we will search for is disconnect dot uh, connection. Uh, sorry. Connection dot this. Am I doing something wrong? This. Yeah. So disconnect dot hang up okay now what you can see over here there is a event name as uh, connection dot disconnect dot hang up now what we can do in avaya od go to our od this is the project uh, hands-on on one which we created go to the events okay and add one more event so let's say we put it over there now in the app route so let's say once user, where's the catch? So once user uh, hang up the call, right? Now let's say for the reporting purpose, uh, we can to capture that event and perform some certain activity, right? So let's say, we'll name it hang up. And now we got this one. Now what we can do is from here, either we can call web service or we can call it, call a data node or whatever the action we want to perform, right? So we can connect over here and it will continue the journey over there, right? So this is the appropriate answer that I'm looking for that. What are the different events available and how you can uh, capture those events in Avaya OD. Okay. Now, uh, moving on to the next question. So let's say uh, the question is in the IVR call flow, let's say we, if any web service call is taking four to five seconds to give the response back, right? Uh, I would like to play a music, let's say a whole music or something like that till we wait for the response and stop the music as soon as after we receive the response back from the web service, how we can achieve that. The intention behind the question is to see if the candidate has actually worked on the API side. Did he has aware of any of such scenario can occur? Because if he has extensively work, he might have faced this issue in the uh, while working on any of the project. Okay. 
So what I will do is usually, uh, or the sim simple answer will be to use the transitional audio. Okay. So what is the transitional audio? Let me show over here um, to clean this up. Okay. So let's go to the, our sample one. Okay. So this is a web service call we are making, right? And now what you can do is we can add a uh, whole music or something like that. Okay. So whole music we will play first and when creating the prompt, let me just connect this to, okay. Okay, so when we create a prompt, okay. So let's say we give it the name hold music. You see in the bottle, there is a something called transitional audio prompts, okay. So we have to click that one. And it will show that, okay, it will use the concept of fetch audio. It will play uh, till the time uh, we are waiting for the response. Once the activity is back, uh, fetch audio will stop and all those things. There are many configurations are also available. So we can use uh, uh, Fraser, uh, sorry, that uh, uh, transitional audio to do that. So for this, there will be a different phrase set and everything. This is not part of your uh, standard audio library that you use, right? So let's say whole music is the one you're giving, okay? You can point to the music directory, okay? And you can select uh, any of the audio file that you have, let's say whole, we don't have anything, just for now, I'm just giving over here. Come on, go down. Let's say whole music, please. That is the name we have given. Now over here, once we select the hold, right? Uh, what we can do is perform, uh, where is that setting? Just looking for that one. Now, what we will do is go over here and delete this test one because we are going to use the properties. So we'll pull the properties over here. Now over here in the property section, right? Uh, we have to go to the audio, transitional audio and specify our whole music. Delay seconds, uh, what delay second means is how, after how many seconds, let's say if you call a web service, right? And it gives the response in, let's say in second. And you don't want to start the music for let's say this one second and then stop it right so you can specify like after you didn't get response in one second okay uh, then you should play the music something like that delay sign uh, you can have a zero also there is a no restriction but uh, this is based on that logic what is the delay second is and minimum play second so again as i said right so even if we start playing the music like right, little bit so if the response we get in two seconds, right? And your music doesn't complete it or something like that, then you can specify like there is a loop in your music is let's say of three seconds. So play at least for the three seconds and then uh, go back to the, or continue with the journey. So this is what we uh, do for uh, transitional audio. So transitional audio we can use when we want to play a, a music while performing any activity it can be a web service or it can be some others lookup that you want to perform or if there is a heavy uh, uh, heavy operation is going to continue in the next node okay so this is for the next node like uh, it will not play over here it will play when this starts and it will wait and play with the music till the time we didn't get the response and once it gets over here the music will stop so that's the answer for this one. Another question uh, which I generally ask is, can we write a VXML in a via OD application? Just a second. Yeah, it's recording. Can we start a uh, VXML in a via OD application? Uh, I usually ask this question. Uh, the intent behind this question is just to understand, have the candidate worked on a via OD extensively? Does he have any knowledge? Uh, like what exactly the VXML is. If I say in the question, what exactly can I write VXML in the IoT application? Uh, 
so the simple solution is yes we can so if you go to the sublet node right so over here we have sublet and over here also we have vxml server so let's show you over here and connection from here to here now once we save it will generate the class file for you and over here you can under the markup language generation you can write the code over here uh, you can put the bxml and all those things uh, there is an instruction given here how you can put it uh, what exactly when it will be run and what uh, format should you consider for writing a bxml okay uh, moving on to the next question uh, question is what are the different types of audio files supported by AP? Okay, so the intention behind this question is generally when you work in any of the client project, right? Uh, you never use or maximum time you can say like 99% you don't use text to speech. You use uh, recorded or voice recorded files, right? So you have to inform the client that okay, the file has to be recorded in specific format like wave and all this thing and what will be the uh, is uh, properties like uh, usually uh, in avaya od we support 8 bit uh, uh, 8 bit and 8 kilohertz audio files there are other also so if i go to our uh, vxml guide right so if i search uh, 8 kilohertz yeah okay so audio file format so we have one is mu law another is the a law both support 8 kilohertz and 8 bit mono and similarly 8 kilohertz and 8 bit mono there are now also uh, 16 bit are also available so 8 kilohertz and 16 bit uh, mono or stereo also available from the avaya side so yeah so this is the uh, what was the intent why I'm asking that question and uh, user can or the candidate can say directly if he knows like 8 kilohertz and 8 bit, bit mono because if he has worked with Avaya OD right he can say this answer because definitely he has to inform the same to the client when their voice uh, uh, recording session is going to happen and they have to inform their vendor that okay this specific format the audio file has to be generated mostly in the web or uh, mp3 uh, I think a wave is the primary one. There is another tag which is available. I will show you. Uh, if I go back to our record tag, right? So if I put the record tag over here, and if I go to, I think inside of it. Yeah. So once you select the record node, right? So audio type. So once you can specify those things also, right? Like if you are capturing a voice input and if you want to use those to save, right? Uh, so X wave, X uh, A law, basic, linear 16 rate, 8 uh, kilohertz. So those are also available, which is mentioned over here, right? So these are the different uh, type of audio files are generated. So yeah, that's uh, all for the today's uh, or you can say the part one of the questions. If you have uh, questions which has been asked, uh, you can put in the comment sections. As always, like and subscribe. There is an effort goes into recording all these uh, questions and the videos. So if you can like and subscribe the channel, it will be helpful. Thank you. Have a nice day.